Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG, the internet's last mistake. I'm your host, Phil Plessy, though, my high mouth, and today we're going to unbox another thing from Limited Run Games. I know, you would think this would be like a special edition or whatnot, but I'm like, eh, I just really want the game. And while I already know what this is, you don't. That's why you're watching this video. So make sure you hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's get right into it. Now, where did I put those scissors? Ah, here we go. So we got this. And let's go ahead and open this up. Yeah, I took the address thing off. It didn't come all the way off, so that, that that's a thing. Anyways, there we go. And let's go ahead and open this up here. Up, oh, It's actually... Um, Iconoclasts from Limited Run. Now, um, if I remember correctly, this uh, this is done by a, by a oh Konjak, This guy here, he does a uh, pixel art and stuff for a lot of other games. Like he's done stuff for Way Forward, for Konami, etc. And he also put out a um, game called uh, Nioto Love Devolution for a 3DS, which honestly should come out to the uh, Nintendo Switch just because. Now, this game's kind of a slash Metroidvania style game with some real uh, mischief makers slash uh, other platformer game type things, and it's pretty good. I'm not actually done with that game. I've been playing it for a while. I have it digitally. Um, and uh, it's... I think I pre-ordered it too when it came out digitally. So it's like, oh, it's out physically, so I had to have that. Mainly because i got to support Limited Run. I really like the... Uh, the main artwork here. It's got a really great motif for this. In the back, you know, use your giant wrench to crush machines and help those in need. It's got this weird um, storyline that's kind of about like religions and the moon is broken and there's stuff to it. It's really all over the place. And it's got some interesting twists and turns. It's definitely a game you should check out. That's from Limited Run who actually did put text here on the back. For once, they have a tendency sometimes to leave those kind of empty. I do like this artwork though. This would make a great artwork thing by itself, and maybe with limited run um, and some other companies, maybe we'll see like a like. I would love it if this had a soundtrack that was outside of like the special edition and all that. But yeah, this is just the normal edition because I want just the game. I like the game. I want to pick it up, and I have to admit that I kind of like. Limited run doing this with Nintendo Switch stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up this box and see what's in. Well, see what the game's like. Mm-hmm. There we go. There's that plastic. I love that they have the loud kind of plastic, not that mushy junk. The the stuff that makes noise. Anyways, here's the inside here. Here's the instruction booklet for the game. I like that it's kind of vertical, like, uh, which is actually similar to what Neo Geo Pocket Color um, ones look like. Let's see here, a couple of the characters, Robin, Mina, a couple of the other characters in here, symbols, notes. I don't think anybody really uses those, but the instruction manual is nice, and the uh, background is all characters from the game, like a lot of pixel art. The um, This look here is actually pretty good. I kind of dig it. It's a... Uh, well, wow, that's that, that, yeah. It's a little simplistic. Actually reminds me a bit of a Wolfenstein 2's art. And let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, like, like all Nintendo Switch games, it is covered in bitterant. <sighs> but actually had a weird strawberry flavor to it. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe that's just because I own a, I own dozens and dozens of games for the Nintendo Switch. And every single one of those game cards. Because, like, as soon as they're like, oh, these are covered in a bitterant, so they actually have, like, this horrible flavor to them to prevent kids from eating them. Ay, it's been kind of a weird tradition. I don't really know what my life is these days. Anyways, this is Iconoclast. This is not the special limited edition thing that they put out from Limited Run. Because that was like, those are all kind of expensive. And I was just like, you know what, I just want the game. But so yeah, this is the game. It's going to be awesome. And I can now free up about like, what, I think a, a gig or two from my um, from the SD card that I have in my Nintendo Switch. Because now I've got it physically. 
which honest to goodness, I prefer stuff physically to digital because digital stuff will all go away eventually. I mean, what was it like? Ask everyone who bought that one game from Epic or picked it up during that sale? Or all those people who bought a, a couple years ago when, Am when I think it was Amazon was all like, let's take Fahrenheit 451 away from Kindle owners who bought it legitimately. Which, seriously, I think it was either Fahrenheit 451 or 1984, one of those. It was just kind of weird that they did that. Anyways, that's why I like physical, look, physical stuff because, honest to goodness, there's something special about holding an actual game cartridge in your hand over a CD or a Blu-ray or a DVD where, I mean, those, they're not as sturdy as cartridges ever will, I mean, they'll never be as sturdy as cartridges, but generally, yeah, it's worth it. I think they already closed the stuff up on here. This is limited run number, oh, they didn't number it. I do like that. I do like that these aren't really numbered for the most part. So, yeah, I like that. There's no number on it. Mainly because that's one thing that kind of bugs me about some of these companies that make these just to order. They're like, this is limited. Uh, it's just that you didn't really want to pay for more when you obviously could. Oh, well. But yeah, I, I like it. I like this art. I would totally buy this as a poster. It's pretty cool. Anyways, that's Iconoclasts, which if you haven't played it yet, you really should. It's a good game. Narratively, um... God, it's got a pretty good story. It's kind of like, not as depressing as, say, Owlboy. Owlboy has an interesting story that's depressing, but Iconoclast has an interesting story that's not depressing. In fact, it's kind of a good type of thing, and, like, it's weirdly politically charged, but it's good. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. Have you picked this one up from Limited Run? Have you purchased anything from Limited Run before? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, and then ring that little bell so you're notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. Until next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.